What's going on? This is Ron Carter, and you're listening to Lead, Sell, and Scale. This podcast is really just an accumulation of my entire journey when it comes to making money online. I think I start off in the very first episode of the first season talking about selling products on Shopify and then quickly move into affiliate marketing, which is where I made my first sales, and then insights that I learned as a coach and uh, really just documenting the whole journey. So I don't really sell anything on this podcast. If I do talk about links in some of the older episodes, they no longer work. Just letting you know that right up front. Uh, If you do want to check out some free training on what I help my clients do, you can always go to therealroncarter.com. But other than that, let's get right into the episode. What's up, everybody? Ron Carter here, your host of Ecom Billionaires Podcast. And today, we're going to be taking a deep dive into the world of upsells. Cue the intro. Let's get it. What's up, everyone? I'm Ron Carter, and I'm part of an underground movement of entrepreneurs who pride ourselves in giving value over making the sale. We put our message out to the world and let the people we can help come to us. We keep our nose to the grindstone because we know that every piece of content we publish is like a beacon of hope for the people we aim to serve. Unlike traditional marketers, we don't build complicated systems or funnels for the main objective of getting the sale or cheat by starting off with big piles of venture capital cash. Instead, we provide value, solve problems, build relationships, and most importantly, we empower others to do the same. We focus on contributing rather than converting. We're not in this game just to make money, but to make a difference. We build lifelong fans who we can serve over and over again. You're listening to Ecom Billionaires Podcast, and we are future billionaires. Let's get it. Let's go. What is an upsell? What is an upsell anyways? The hell am I talking about? So, an upsell. I know that you guys all know what an upsell is, even if you don't think that you do. Because I know that all of you have been to a fast food place or a restaurant or something. Let's just say you walk into McDonald's and you order a cheeseburger and they say, hey, you want fries with that? Boom, that's an upsell. That's an upsell. You're adding something to somebody's order. See, now, I really wanted to talk about this because most marketers go about this all wrong, especially in the beginning. And I did as well. That's why I want to share this. Um, Now, I'm going to share with you a bad example of an upsell. And this is an upsell that I actually created that, no, it did not sell. (laughs) Um, So... (laughs) Oh, this is perfect. This is my, I just, I forgot all about this offer that I created, but this is my first um, upsell that I ever created. It's before I even had a click funnels. I was doing this on Shopify. I found out that if you, if you pay an extra, I think it's like $60 a month to your Shopify bill. If you're, if you're using Shopify, you can add an app. Um, I think the app is called Zipify, like one click upsells. And it's a whole extra app that allows you to add an upsell to your Shopify order. So basically, uh, what, what I'm what I'm saying is, in case you don't know what Shopify and any of this stuff is, Shopify is an e-commerce platform app. Uh, so so it's an app that that you can use to set up your an e-commerce store so you can sell physical products. And that's what I started with. And I was selling hiking and camping gear. And so I set up this one click upsell which basically means that somebody would come into my they would come into my hiking camping store and i was selling this uh solar speaker or i was trying to Uh, and it was like a it was a bluetooth speaker that was rechargeable from a solar panel that was on it and and you could actually use it as a power bank for all of your devices so i'm thinking this is so functional this thing is going to sell itself and i didn't know anything about storytelling or copywriting and, uh, and the speaker, it, it cost me to acquire it, $35 or something like that. And so I thought, okay, I'll sell it for 70 bucks. And I'll, I'll list it as $100 and I'll say that it's on sale and that will make people buy it. So it's 70, it's, you know, whatever percent off, like half off. <laughs> um, 
And I thought, and then after people buy the speaker, what I'll do is I'll say that if you get the speaker, it comes with this D-Link clip because it has these little like holes on the speaker because it's meant so that you can drop it and stuff. And uh, it's meant for like hiking and, and, and all that. And I thought, you know, I'll make it so that if you get this speaker, you get the free little D-Link clip so you can clip it to your backpack. And then I thought, oh, you know what's perfect? As soon as they buy the speaker, then I'll upsell them on a backpack to clip it to because that goes with it, right? And uh, and then I thought, you know, so if I use Zipify one click upsell, what it does is it makes it so that if people buy that speaker, they put in their credit card information, they hit submit. And then as soon as, as soon as the credit card, sorry guys, people doing yard work around me um, as I'm walking down the street. Uh, as soon as they buy that speaker, then they're going to get hit with a, a page. Sorry. <laughs> they're going to get hit with a page that says, hey, your order's not complete yet. And it's going to have all this info about, um, about the backpack. About They can just click the yes button below and, and get the backpack. And, and then I thought, what else goes with the backpack? I thought, ah, oh, a water bottle will go nice with that, I guess. And they might need that too, why not? They can put it in the backpack. So I made another upsell. And then I went and I tried to market this and I thought, I'm gonna get rich. I'm gonna do an influencer ad, pay 30 bucks, get people to buy this speaker. Then they're all gonna buy the backpack. Oh, it's on, I'm about to quit my job. <laughs> and guess what? Nobody even bought the speaker. Nobody even had a chance to see the upsell, let alone have that like make me a bunch of money. Because I thought this is perfect. I'll run an ad for one product and ended up selling three different ones. And and yes, I understood how like I was just grasping how funnels work. And I didn't even understand that I was, but I was creating a funnel using Shopify and all these extra apps. That's what I was doing. And um but it didn't work. And even if they bought that speaker, I don't think they would have took those upsells. And I'm gonna tell you why. The way that you really create a good upsell, instead of telling you, let me show you. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna explain a, a, a story. All right, let's make something up. So let's say you're me. Like, like, and what I mean by that is you're walking around all the time. I'm always doing live videos, walking. I'm recording podcasts while I'm walking. And guess why? It's because I don't have a car. If I had a car, I'd be recording them in the car with the windows up. You guys can hear me fine. And you'll probably, you, you'll probably be hearing that coming soon. And so I don't have a car right now. So what's my, what's the problem here? The problem is that there's no car. So I'm walking everywhere. So I go to a car dealership and I'm like, okay, I really want a car. What's a good upsell for a car? If a car, if I'm like, ah, I don't, I don't know if I want this car. And then, and then the, the guy at the dealership says, you know what? If you get this car today, I'm actually going to give you free gas for the next six months. I'm going to fill your tank up for the next six months. If you get this car today. And you're like, what? And you're like, well, what's that look like? And the dealer is like, actually, what it looks like is we've calculated that most people use one tank of gas um, every two weeks. So we're actually going to fill this tank up twice every month for the next six months. Then you're going to get 12 full tanks of gas. And we calculated, we've calculated that the gas actually costs around $60 a tank. So we're going to give you 12 of those. So we're actually going to give you $720 worth of gas. And to make it easy for you, we're just going to take the 720 right off the top of the bill. What do you think about that? See, now you're like, whoa, I just got free gas for the next six months. You know what that did? You know, that solved a problem that the initial product that I'm buying created. Because I did not need gas before I bought that car. That was not a problem that I had. But as soon as I purchased that car, now I have a problem that came with it. Yes, that purchase solved a problem that I'm experiencing right now, 
but it also created another one. And your upsell should always strive to solve the problem that your first product has created. Not the same problem that your first product is solving. It is solving a second problem. It's a secondary problem, a secondary issue that has only popped up after the first item was de- was delivered. So you can use this concept to create upsells to make more money. You can use this concept to create bonuses to make your offer even more appealing. Like that's what I did with the car dealership thing. I said, hey, like really all I did was knock 700 bucks off the price of the car. Really, like if you really look at it, it's like, like that probably wouldn't have seemed as appealing if I was like, hey, you know, if you get this today, you can get it for $700 cheaper. Because then the person's gonna say, oh, we're playing that game. It's like, oh, well, I'll give you it. You know, I'll get it to you if you give it to me for a, for a thousand bucks cheaper. Thank you. Um, saying thanks to somebody who let me walk across the street. Um, so, but when I put it into perspective that way, and I say, you know what, actually, what, you know, as soon as we get you this car, yeah, it's got, it's got a full tank of gas in it. You're gonna be able to drive around for a couple of weeks, but then you're gonna have to fill this thing up. It's gonna just be another expense that we don't even really think about usually. A lot of car dealers, <laughs> they're not even gonna wanna talk about this, but I like to be upfront with my people and I'm here to try to help you. You know, I want I want to help you get into a car that you're comfortable with, that you love, and uh, and that you can drive without having to worry about hitting the gas station all the time or worrying about where those funds are coming from. So I tell you what, uh, we're actually going to give you $120 a month so that you can put that into the tank of the car. And, and we're not just gonna give it to you, we're gonna knock it off of the price so that you just don't have to pay for that gas. You know, instead of instead of paying that full, that instead of paying that money to us, put it in the tank, make sure you can get around for the next six months. It's 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 genius. It, when you when you look at it this way, when you look at like, okay, everything that I give somebody is a solution to a problem. That's why they want it in the first place, but it's going to cause another problem. For example, if somebody signs up for click funnels to try to learn how to build funnels, you know, what's their problem? You know, their problem is they, they, they want to either grow their business or, uh, you know, sell products or services, whether they're physical or digital to customers and consumers, but now they need to learn how to build a funnel. So if I get somebody signed up to click funnels, the first thing that I'm gonna offer them is a completed funnel, a completed proven funnel that works. And, and even then, they still have another problem because now they have to learn how to hook that funnel up. How do you hook it up to your email autoresponder? How, uh, how do you hook it up to your domain? And after I show them that, they have another problem now because it's like, okay, the funnel is hooked up to their email autoresponder, but they don't have any emails in there. So I got to show them how to write the email. So if I, can, if I make a digital product that shows people how to do all of that, and then I offer that to people who sign up for the ClickFunnels free trial. That makes it a lot more enticing to sign up under me than anybody else. Because I'm solving all of these problems at once. I'm looking way ahead into the future of everything that they're going to need. And I'm putting it all in one thing and bundling it. And that way I'm able to tell them, hey, this is worth this much. But you're going to get it for free when you sign up. Now, this is something that I'm in the middle of creating. Um, actually, in the beginning, I should say. But I do have a very similar offer uh, that my mentor created. And you can go through his training and get a bunch of bonuses for signing up for the One Funnel Away Challenge when you're inside of the free training. That's right, you can get a bunch of training for free and then get even more training for free. And then from there, you can sign up for something <laughs> and you can sign up for the One Funnel Away Challenge and get a bunch of awesome bonuses that come along with it. Um, and all of those bonuses follow the same concept. They all solve pro- they all solve problems that are created when you move further into this world. It's to make it easier for you. So that's how you create upsells the right way. I hope you guys got some value out of that. Um, and if you guys want to move forward with that training, just keep listening. Take care. Thanks for listening to the episode, guys. Really appreciate it. Hey, you know, I wanted to share something with you guys, and I have some value that I really want to give out, and because I want to help. 
Like when I first started affiliate marketing, there's a shitload of people on the internet that are providing affiliate marketing training. And I wish you can see me as I'm air quoting um, <laughs> as I say that because there's so much just BS that you have to wade through because you can tell that, oh, this person just made this because they're trying to sell that. And, and the training is like half assed and or it's just revolved around a hack or revolved around a process that's only going to work for a certain amount of time because it's like oh right now you could leverage the facebook the facebook platform by doing ads like this but like six months down the road there's been so many updates that it's outdated and the person doesn't update it or they update it and then you gotta buy it again like i'm against all training like that and i just want to put that out there like that's why you don't hear me promoting training that often. You hear me either talking about stuff that I'm doing or stuff that I'm trying to provide to you, and that's it. But um, my mentor, Zach Crawford, he's the guy that I've been learning all this stuff from. The only high ticket course that I've ever bought access to is Zach Crawford. And that's where I've been getting everything from. And as soon as I can, I'm going to be buying his, his accelerator program and going into his one-on-one coaching program. And, and from there, you know, getting with the results that I get from that, going on to Russell Brunson's, at least as far into it as I can. Um, so I'm investing into myself as well. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I have this free training that Zach actually does. It's done by him, but he's letting me leverage it. So it's my funnel. Um, it's basically my little website that you can go on to and get this awesome training that's done by him uh, for free. And he's gonna actually show you how to build a long-term asset, how to actually start doing this and build something that's not some flash in the pan, quick strategy that's gonna be outdated in six months or just some bullshit that's just made so that you can buy something else. It's some actual real value. It's gonna show you how he's became a super affiliate, how he's earned over seven figures doing this time and time again. And it's helped thousands of other people do the same thing. So if you guys are interested in that and you want to hop into this and just stop sitting on the sidelines and, you know, put some skin in the game and start learning how to do this stuff, um, I made it easy for you guys. I know that you're listening to this on your phone right now. So instead of giving you a web address, uh, which actually I'll throw that out there too, just in case that's how you guys want to do it, you can go to ecombillionaires.com slash win, so W-I-N, so that's ecom billionaires.com slash win but if you guys don't want to do that right now you can actually send a text message um so you can pull out your phone uh open up your text right now and the number that you're going to want to text is 678 area code 506-7543 so that's 678-506-7543 and I want you to text, please show me, all one word. So type, please show me. So that's P-L-E-A-S-E-S-H-O-W-M-E. So send that off and then just follow the instructions and then you'll get the first training sent to your inbox immediately. So if you're driving, you're at the gym, you're doing something else, you can just text, please show me to number 678-506-7543 and then follow the prompt on the screen. It'll ask for your email address after you send that. Then you send your email address afterwards. And then when you get home from the gym or when you get home from walking the dog or whatever it is that you're doing while you're listening to this, maybe driving in into work um, or home from work, when you get home, you'll have the first lesson of the training waiting for you in your inbox. You'll have Zach talking about his journey as a super as a super affiliate and showing you how he made his first million. I think that's the first training. It's like an hour long training. It'll be right there waiting for you. So I hope that that brings you guys some value and I hope that you uh, capitalize on that opportunity and hope you're all having an awesome day. Thanks for listening. Love all you guys.